Hey there everybody, um, so today I have some brand new Skylanders to go off and show you all. Obviously you guys can see a part of this one right here um, that is sitting off to the side of me. Now, I have very few Skylanders left to actually finish my collection, um, which is mind-boggling. Um, we finished off uh, 1 through 4, which is uh, Spyro's Adventure to Spyro, or to uh, Trap Team. Um, I had a few from uh, Superchargers that I needed to get, so we went ahead and uh, got some of those, which you're going to see in this uh, video. Uh, I think there was like four or five that I didn't have yet that I went ahead and picked up, and I'm now getting started with Imaginators, um, so there's that. Um, I only have Golden Queen and a Creation Crystal, that being the Fire uh, Reactor, I think. It's the Starter Pack one, um, so... Just some base stuff, but I went ahead and got a couple of senseis and the remaining Superchargers figures that I needed to complete my collection. But anyway, guys, I apologize for my appearance. I have not gotten to shave in a little while, but we're keeping that neck beard at bay. So, that's what matters. <laughs> Get you on the flip-flop. Ooh, fancy black bag. Ooh, cardboard box from eBay. Well, wow, so fancy. But, um, seeing that some of you guys had already went off and checked a community post that I actually meant to post later on, um, you guys already know that I bought Egg-Sided Thrillipede here. Now, I am really excited to have this guy. He has quite an interesting moveset. Not quite as strong as you would think for to have so many talking so, so very highly of him. But he is definitely a good Skylander, um, so I respect that. Um, not my favorite by any means, but he certainly is a shiny guy. Um, in the game, his jacket has a lot more detail. I wish I could have seen that um, on his figurine here, but I am glad to at least have a version of Thrillipede in my collection. He was definitely a character that was necessary. Oh! And then up next, um, one of the senseis that you guys had went ahead and uh, seen off to the side, that being Dr. Crankcase. Definitely one of my favorite villains uh, from Trap Team. Um, given a full figure treatment here, uh, so I figured it would be super cool if I could go ahead and grab this guy. And I got him, as well as another um, sensei, for about $21, which is a pretty good steal, considering the fact that Crankcase usually goes for $35 to $45, and Taekwon Crow usually runs about $25 himself, so I got basically two, um, for the price of one, which is a good deal in my opinion, and these two are both some, uh, pretty cool, um, senseis, even though Imaginators is by far one of my least favorite games in the, uh, franchise, um, only beating out superchargers by the fact that I really do not like superchargers, um, because it does not, uh, I'm more of the combat guy and not so much of the, uh, the racing. If I want to play a racing game, I'm going to go play NASCAR 2004 for the PS2, but that's totally against the point. But what is the point 110% is the fact that these guys are super duper cool and packed with cool details. I really wish that um, Taekwon Crow could have got some more combos, you know, with his kicks. And maybe um, if he could have at least had the class of Swordsman again, that would have been pretty cool. Make him a uh, Fire Knight or Fire... I don't know why they made him... Um, with the shurikens. It's not bad by any means, but it would have been cooler to see him just like how he was in Trap Team with his uh, sword and shuriken. All right, and so I have went ahead and popped the top on our little cardboard box here. I'm going to go ahead and flip it on its head, and I will take out the figures one by one. So the first figure, this is one I wanted to get so bad whenever I'd first seen them uh, released in stores way back in January of 2015, or, yeah, um, January slash late, um, not January. Uh, I think it was actually, yeah, no, it was, it was around December, um, I think, whenever Wave 2 dropped uh, for Superchargers. And here is Stormblade. I'm going to take her out of her bubble prison, and she looks amazing. Um, I love her pose here. She is jumping out. She's got all of these blades, an absolute beautiful Skylander. Um, you wouldn't think something so elegant would be so deadly, but you can see each and every single one of these individual blades. She's got her uh, purple like feather tone here. 
Um, and I love, oh my gosh, I absolutely love the way that the clouds come up and wrap around the, uh, the Rift engine. That is so cool. Her little jumpsuit, very neat. Um, I, one thing about superchargers is I do not like the racing part of the game, but I definitely do respect uh, a lot of the characters that they introduced in superchargers because a lot of them are just that cool. Um, and moving on to our second character, that being one of the last Skylanders that I needed for superchargers, we have Smash Hit here. Um, this guy was all over stores, and honestly, I only got him to complete my collection. I never had any interest in him. Who knows, maybe he could basically be uh, kind of like Rocky Roll, where he comes out and surprises you out of nowhere. He has a very interesting figure. Okay, those are transparent. That's cool. I highly doubt that they glow on the portal. I'm not the biggest fan of the way that they did the earthy texture. I definitely miss the uh, more diverse um, bases that they had for the Skylanders up to this point. Oh, that's kind of cool. He's got the, uh, he's got like a, oh my gosh, it's not a chain release. Oh, it's like a winch. He's got like a winch system on his back. That is actually really neat. Um, and he's obviously going off and uh, he's attached by the hook here. I've heard that he can go off and become detached and go off and run around on his own and like uh, walk on top of this. So I guess we'll see if that's true. I like his little cleats, um, but he definitely breaks the mold when it comes to the uh, poses on the figurines. They uh, Superchargers definitely has a very interesting uh, collection of characters. That is for sure. Inside of this bag was another bag <laughs> and now we are going to go ahead and open it yeah let's see out of that bag was another bag honestly at that point i believe you should just go ahead and put it in a box um just to go off and preserve the uh packaging products because it feels just a tad bit wasteful to put so much packaging. I mean, I appreciate the fact that it's protected, but I think it would have been a lot more uh, protected and less wasteful to just put it in a cardboard box. Just a little something. I do appreciate the fact that they went out of their way to keep them protected. Um, oh, and inside of that bag is another bag. <laughs> you can't make this up. All right. Oh, boy. So, first figure. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Okay. The last character I actually need for superchargers was Splat. Oh my gosh. She is so pretty. Wow. Look at that. That is a gorgeous figurine. Look at that. Wow. I don't remember if I ever actually seen Splat in person. I think I did. Oh my gosh. She is so pretty. Wow. Uh, that is so cool. I love the uh, ruin effect that they got back here for the uh, magic base. That is so cool. That is amazing. It's a shame we didn't get more uh, more uh, unique figures for uh, superchargers because that is such a neat style right there. I really like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with Splat's figure. I didn't know she was that uh, crazy looking. Another cool thing that I went off and picked up with this lot um, is a complete uh, not broken Spitfire. And wow, he looks a lot cooler than I remember him. Um, this one actually has arms <laughs> and his wings. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad to have a complete Spitfire in my collection. Um, as well as, and this is the final Skylander for the video, a variant of a figure I already own, that being... Uh, Dark Astro Blast. That is neat right there. He just looks like a full-on Dark Skylander at that point. And I mean, that's kind of the point. But considering the fact that he's a light element character, if you would have shown me this guy, I would have believed that he was made just for the Dark Element and not just some variant. Because he looks, he almost looks like a demon. <laughs> um, and that's actually pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, this color scheme, the black, the gold, the white, um, it's a very different take and I'm glad to have, um, him in my collection because I do like Astro Blast. He's a very different Skylander and oh boy, I'm really excited to have Spitfire 
uh, complete, as well as this amazing figurine. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I'm in love with this figure. It is so pretty. I love the colors, um, the bright pink as well as her horns being the translucent pink. She's a gorgeous figurine. But this is today's haul, guys. This is the haul for January of 2024. This completes my Skylander Superchargers collection. Um, that being said, um, we got a lot of fantastic figurines here. Let me know what you guys would like to see next uh, whenever it comes to my Skylanders collection, and I would love to make some more videos uh, based on my collection for you guys. Anyway, guys, thank you all so, so very much for watching to the end. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out and bye-bye. Who dares challenge the great Archmongus? <laughs> <laughs>